The next piece I'll be talking about is Venus of Willendorf, which was located near Willendorf in Lower Austria. The specific location of the work now is in the National History Museum of Vienna, and the artist is unknown because it was so long ago. Um, and the medium work is a sculpture made of elliptic limestone. The period of work is the Stone Age, and the historical relevance is that it was possibly used as a symbol of fertility um, in the people that lived in that area and in neighboring regions where they found similar dolls. And it's unknown how long it took to create, but it was dated around 25,000 BC. This work is important because it's the very beginning of art and modern human existence as we know it, the level of consciousness that we have as modern humans, the importance of art and self-expression and communication, especially before writing, um, is very important. This is one of the most prominent examples of that, um, especially past like um, just markings or like very simple K paintings. This was something that was very intentional and clearly had some type of symbolic meaning. Um, the defining characteristics of the work is that it emphasized parts of the body that are associated with fertility, such as her breasts or it seems that her stomach. Her stomach resembles, um, it's kind of larger, could possibly be what a woman would look like just after she's given birth or if she's just real healthy. Um, plus her large breasts, as I just mentioned, and she's faceless. We don't know if this is intentional or if it's just worn off over time. Both are reasonable and her hair is in these types of maybe knots or braids or maybe even possibly a headdress. Um, my personal observation is that honestly it kind of exemplifies the absurdity of like modern beauty standards and cultural values because obviously as a woman my body is built a certain way for a reason it's meant to do certain things look a certain way and if I'm always told that I shouldn't have hips or stomach or breasts how am I supposed to fulfill the things that women are praised for, traditionally, at least. I don't know if I'm wording this correctly, but I'm just saying, I think it's crazy, especially looking at art, even from like the Baroque era, for example, where women still have normal looking bodies and stomach rolls and stuff like that. It's just crazy to have grown up in like the early 2000s and stuff like that, where that was not at all what was considered beautiful and it's just crazy to think that because that's not what everyone's body is supposed to look like so it's really weird that you get like penalized socially for it anyways um why did i choose it for the reason i just talked about and also for similar reasons that i mentioned in my fanny video just kind of like i took class over this and this was really interesting for me to see like actually in person and um, one fun fact is that Venus was the name of the Roman goddess of love and ideal beauty. When discovered, scholars assumed that this figure was likewise a goddess of love and beauty.